Operator, one moment, please. I'll connect you. I know you've heard the saying, if it works, don't fix it. Well, that's good advice, sometimes. But in the world of video distribution, it's easy to outgrow plug-in control, and some even consider a routing switcher. Most people don't even think about a routing switcher, unless it quits. It isn't glamorous. You can't really watch it work. It's just part of the furniture. But as a station grows, it finds it must send source signals to more and more places. But if we continue to add cross points in the old way, we'd soon fill up a room with racks and racks of equipment. This is Horizon, the fifth generation audio video routing control system from the Grass Valley Group. One third smaller than conventional routing systems and with features never included in a routing switcher before. The inside story starts here in the hybrid manufacturing facility. We uh, began manufacturing hybrids approximately two years ago, and we manufacture them inside of Grass Valley Group so that we can exercise total quality control over the process and over the design process, integrating it into the manufacturing process. The hybrid process starts with an aluminum substrate that has surface mount components attached to it. We apply a solder paste on top of the substrate, then the components are applied. We typically attach uh, uh, semiconductors, ICs, transistors, diodes, resistors, and capacitors onto one side of this piece of alumina. Uh, after the components are attached, they're baked to drive out all the moisture, then they're introduced into a reflow, a vapor phase reflow process that makes the solder joint. After soldering, then they're placed in the trim facility. It's the trimming process that allows us to achieve tolerances that you can't get in printed circuit board technology. We trim to within 1% uh, of the output of the hybrid itself, whether it's a voltage regulator or an operational amplifier. The, after the trim process, the hybrids are inspected and then they're 100% tested for the specs that they're to meet when they go into products such as Horizon. The push for high performance, high reliability circuits begins here with computer assisted design. Soon, all steps in the design, assembly, testing, and quality control verification will be computer coordinated, guaranteeing greater component accuracy and system reliability. By introducing computer guidance in board stuffing, for example, production has been increased while testing errors have been reduced. And by systematically tightening design, manufacturing, and testing controls, board size has been shrunk and the space required for a total system has been reduced significantly. This Horizon 64 by 64 routing switcher takes up only 32 inches of rack space compared to a full rack and a half required by a similar capacity system of older design. Miniaturization has two important side benefits, reduction in cost as automated systems are brought online and reduced maintenance in the field because of more frequent testing to closer tolerances here at the plant. Looking at the overall system, there's just no practical way that we could have continued to control cross-point expansion by using the old one wire per cross-point system. Even with IC logic control, BCD encoding, and parallel data paths, the required panel control cables still add up in a large system. Switch to serial control using hardwire, discrete logic as some manufacturers have done, and you have a little more logic complexity, but you reduce the system cabling significantly. But you're stuck with an inflexible system that cannot be altered or added to easily. We felt the only answer was microprocessor control. This coupled with a backup controller provides a very efficient team for getting control system connection to panels, allowing an efficient interface via coax to many, many various panels. It also provides a efficient interconnect to the levels of the video matrix, allowing you to control the cross points using a nine wire parallel bus. The changeover module monitors the actual action of the control system, providing alarms if any fails. 
but the most important feature with the microprocessor control system is the user programmability. In this particular feature, we have system installation available to the user, we have system modification available, and we also have various features available for maintenance, allowing you a window into the control system. Horizon is custom programmed for each installation, not here at the factory, but by the user after the system is installed. As cross points are added or changed, you simply decide what you want to name that new source and make the assignment in a few keystrokes. It's permanent until you want to change it. Horizon has a variety of control panels for every application. For example, this is the universal control panel, and it has unique features never found on a control panel before. For example, there are 16 different source names to choose from. Over on this panel, we have some unique features, such as the Protect button. The Protect button allows us to protect this source from being taken away by any other control panel. Incidentally, this can be tied to a record relay of a videotape recorder, so once you are in that mode, no one can take that source away from you. The next button over is the ID button, which tells us where this control panel resides. This is the address of the control panel. In this particular case, it's Station 6, and destination zero. After a few seconds, this will revert back to the preset and the status. This control panel can take all levels or we can break away levels. In this case, let's take a look at the video status. We'll push the status button and video and we have camera one. Now let's push status again and go to audio one, which is VTR one. Again, audio two is VCR one and audio three is VTR2. So at any time we know the status of all the levels with this control panel. Some of the other features include a, VT, a VSD display which allows us to look at the video status display from the remote control panel. One of the really unique features of this control panel is the chop feature. This chop button allows us to chop between the source that's in the status display and the preset display. We'll hit chop We'll be chopping now between the two sources, which in this case are camera one and VTR one. This is great for setting levels or camera match or looking for uh, system timing errors and things of that type. So a feature never found on any other control panel before of this caliber. There are other control panels in our line too, and let's take a look at some of those. The standard control panel allows us to simply select a source to a destination. For those who really have a problem with space, we've also designed it as a one rack unit panel. The button per source panel is extremely unique. It is user programmable. This button on this panel, for example, can be camera one. On another panel in the system, you can program that with a terminal to be VTR one. And these don't have to be contiguous sources. You can assign whatever you want each of those buttons to be via this terminal. Those actual selections then are actually programmed into the panels and it does reside in a E squared prom in the panel, making it easy for you to change those panels whenever you wish, and they are permanent. There are four command buses available, and since the command buses employ time division multiplex techniques, up to 128 control devices can be connected to the system simultaneously. The data rate is sufficiently high to ensure that a control panel command is processed in less than 150 milliseconds. Any ASCII 2 terminal may be used with a Horizon system. The interface, invaluable for installation, modification, and system maintenance, is provided as standard equipment. User programmable features such as input exclusion and transcode assignment give Horizon unparalleled flexibility and operational control. The actual maintenance commands is another powerful category allowing you to display error registers, thus making visible any soft failures that might be happening, failures that might not be the controller's fault, but thus identifying problems where modules have been removed and panels perhaps are misperforming. Horizon is a new approach to audio-video routing systems designed to take advantage of cost-effective microprocessor control. It turns full system control over to you, installation, modification, and maintenance. As sources change and your needs expand, you can reassign inputs using your own terminal. 
Three system frame sizes are available, and each can be configured with less than a full complement of modules for expansion as your system needs grow. Dual controllers are available with automatic changeover for fail-safe operation. Horizon's high performance is enhanced through the use of specialized hybrid circuits developed by Grass Valley specifically for this system. I know people don't look inside at each component when they're shopping for a complete system, but they should. A lot of what Horizon's about can be seen with the precision of these components. We're proud of the work we do. In this system, you have the computer working for you, not the other way around. You speak to it in your language. It's redundant with an optional automatic backup. And maintenance is all done at a functional level rather than at a component level. Horizon is easily configured to fit any installation. It's simple and direct. It's a very flexible system that can be expanded by plugging in modules. It requires about half the space of any previous system, and it costs less. Who said a routing switcher can't be exciting? Horizon, the new generation audio-video routing system. Good afternoon, the Grass Valley Group. One moment, please, I'll connect you.